What started off as a suspected Chinese spy balloon being shot down nine days ago has now become a broader intelligence investigation, with more flying objects blown out of the sky. On Sunday, the U.S. military shot down yet another unidentifiable flying object. Nicole D'Antonio reports from the White House. For three days in a row, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the U.S. military shot down objects over Alaska, Canada's Yukon Territory, and Lake Huron. That's after an American fighter jet destroyed a Chinese spy balloon off the coast of South Carolina more than a week ago. Even though we had no indications that any of these three objects were surveilling, we couldn't rule that out. And so there, you know, you want to err on the side of safety here. The fourth unmanned object was shot down by an F-16 over Lake Huron Sunday near Michigan. Lake Huron has been choppy, so it's been difficult to recover. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says recovery teams are on the ground looking to find and analyze the objects shot down over Canada's Yukon Territory. We will continue to do everything necessary. Uh, to protect the sovereignty of our air, of our shared North American airspace. Biden administration officials say the three objects were much smaller than the Chinese spy balloon, appear to be different shapes and flew at altitudes that could jeopardize passenger airlines. On Monday, China claimed the U.S. has flown more than 10 high-altitude balloons over its airspace in the last few years. U.S. security officials denied the accusation. We are not flying surveillance balloons over China. Since the Chinese balloon incident, the U.S. has enhanced radars to more closely monitor U.S. airspace, which might explain the increase in activity.